I have this model and I select this wall and I go to edit and I duplicate this wall. Why I do that? Because wall they are system families. Uh, they are, uh, it's not like the other families, component families that we can load them. Walls, they, they are hard coded inside the Revit template. We duplicate existing wall to create a new uh, wall type. This is what uh, we will do in this exercise. Now I duplicate this uh, generic eight inch wall. Now I want to create uh, exterior wall uh, with the insulation system. I will name it uh, exterior wall. E I F S. That's the uh, insulation system. I put OK. Now uh, I go to the structure of the wall. OK. And I go to edit. Sometimes you don't have this preview because uh, sometimes you can open the uh, type properties and you don't have the preview. Just click on the preview and you will see it like that. Now I go to edit. And in the uh, edit property or edit assembly, you have this uh, uh, dialog box, you have the exterior side and you have the interior side in here. And here you have the layer. To create a new layer, before we create a new layer, we just uh, uh, put that to six inches. Now I have in the preview, the uh, wall changed. Now, if I add the new layer, I select in here the, the existing layer and I click here and insert. Now I have the, uh, this a new layer and I can come here in the thickness and I add like three and four inches. And you see here, I already uh, have this uh, layer added. Now I do the same things. I click on this layer and insert. Now I add another layer of two inches and I can select this layer that I lately added and I click on up. Now you have uh, this green line. That's the core boundary of the wall. And I get back to here and insert another layer. Now I add half inches and I select this one and I click on down, down, down. Now you have this second green line. Now you have the core boundary with this uh, both uh, green lines. Now, uh, the second thing that we will do is to add the material, okay? Now, for the uh, material, for uh, here, I add a plywood, okay? Plywood. And for the uh, structure here, I add the metal style. Now, if you click on metal stud and now you have this uh, this uh, structure already uh, had the material uh, uh, to, to them. Now for the material and I add the insulation EIFC exterior. Now we have the material for all this layer, now it's left this one. I click on material in here by category, then I click on the small button. And now I add the gypsum, the gypsum wall in here. Now we have the thickness, we have the material added. Now we add the function, okay? The function uh, is the uh, the function for each layer this one i will put it finish 
you see in here, this is the uh, uh, the priority for uh, each layer. We will see uh, in uh, what that's mean for each layer. This one, I will put substrate and this one st uh, structure one and this one uh, finish two with priority five. Now we have the function, we have the material, we have the thickness, we can click on OK. For the function exterior, we have multiple function. We have interior, exterior, foundation, rotating, uh, soffit, and uh, core shaft. We keep it uh, exterior, and I put OK. Now, if I go to level one, and I put do level, I put to medium in here, you see here, I have my layer uh, already uh, added uh, to my wall. Uh, 